All right, so acquisition. We, we have to be really clear, right? Um, I think it was Candy or Candace who talked about the high value client. We must identify the net that we're casting. As we go out to acquire clients, we don't want the largest possible net. Think about the client interactions that you have, the most valuable. They're treating you as a trusted advisor. They value your time and yours theirs. The least fulfilling clients are time suck. They don't value your time. They're constantly badgering you. We obviously want to acquire less of those and more of the others. So we need to have a, a specific net. We need to have a strategy for how we handle and filter those inbound and an outbound strategy for going after them. How are we promoting? Uh, what are our sales methodologies? What's the structure of our LSP team? How are we compensating them? How are we training them? All right, there's a concept that we use in business to business sales. Can you move that over, Craig? Uh, move. Cut off. Uh, called Veto. Very important top officer in, in, there we go, in business to business. But here, it's more specifically known as the decision maker. You want to find out at the beginning of the call if it's the wife but she can't make a decision without the husband or the husband can't make a decision uh, without the wife, who is the top decision maker, okay? We need to understand where are our competitors in this market? Where do we locate key decision makers? How do we create TOMA? TOMA is top of mind awareness. You know, by the nature of your agency, you, you represent, you know, a limited geographical area. How are you maintaining that top of mind awareness so when the time comes, your brand, your agency is top of mind, right? You must have compelling educational materials and collateral for attracting clients. Do not waste money on Allstate tchotchkes. No one cares about a little football, a coffee mug, or a pen, okay? They do care about success stories, qualification, quantification. People move to third party, what we call social proof, far faster than they will by you selling them or convincing them. What are our strategies for generating leads in our defined target? Web leads, direct mail, SEO, SCM. What's our blueprint for going after these clients? How are we handling them? And also, how are we measuring them? I just saw Candace sent over, I love it, it's missing from here, social media. So what, what are we missing, uh, everybody? What, what are some examples of acquisition strategies? What are your top examples of acquisition strategies that are having the most impact on your business, that are landing you the highest value clients? Referrals. Yeah, referrals. What else? Um, I don't think... Facebook is good, but. Right, and, and Facebook is, is good. It's, 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 it's a growing piece because we can target them. We can meet them where we are. I think we all have got to get better on filtering, right? Same, same way, before we get into these three strategies, I want you to workshop with your LSPs around the best calls. What's the, what's the makeup of this client and really build out these personas because now you have strategies that you can build to retain them, strategies that you can build to require them. Uh, it's pretty powerful. I'm not seeing where that's coming from. Okay. I'm just curious because. Uh, whoever it is, he's using our languaging though. He said, I'm just curious. So he must have been on our other calls. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, okay. And I'm just a terrible multitasker, so it, 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 uh, it distracts me. All right, so let's dive back into it. So Athena, LinkedIn for social media. Definitely. What else? What else? We market specific zip codes and areas that are more high value clients. All right, now cool. Now tell me about that. I, that's Candace again. Um, yeah. How do you get specific though in terms of or, or you, how, how are you matching those zip codes with the attributes of your best clients? 
we know because we live in the area, we know which areas of Eugene uh, are the more high value as far as like the values of the homes. You can get those off of Zillow. Mm -hmm. um, we happen to use a program called AQS for our direct mail marketing. And we're just able to zero in on specific zip codes. And you just assume that people that live in that zip code pretty much all, you know, own the same type of home. They own multiple cars. They have kids. They have life insurance, retirement. Awesome. Fantastic. I hope everybody's furiously taking notes. If you're not doing this, this is a great opportunity. Listen, this is all common sense. Not, none of what's being shared here is the secret answer or silver formula, but success leaves clues. Candace is giving us all here a clues about what those high value clients look like. This is super valuable. Thank you for that, Candace. What else? Who else has got something? Loan officer referrals are my top closed and highest value clients. Awesome. Cross sell current, okay, hold on a second. So um, acquisition, yeah, so that's acquisition. Cross sell current book of business. They already like us, win backs. Okay, so that's gonna be a development strategy. That came from Jennifer. Um, what else do we have here? Okay, hey, this is Alex Long, may I ask a question? Please, go, yeah, go ahead, Alex. Um, a, you, you referenced AQS. Can you elaborate on that? I, I haven't heard of that acronym or that company or, or how you're sourcing those high value homes. Absolutely, Alex. So AQS is an executive advantage approved uh, company that Allstate uses and they're a direct mail company. So what's really cool about them is you um, lock down specific zip codes and so you're the only agent or all state agent getting those zip codes and they will mm -hmm. send you on a monthly basis all of the homeowners in a specific zip code that bought their home in a specific month. So for example, right now we're working on July. So all the people in the zip codes that I've locked down who bought their homes in July are getting a quote, a homeowner's quote from me this month. And, um, and it's just, it's a highly successful program. I don't know what AQS stands for, but if you go out to the Executive Advantage website, they are on there and you can go then okay. to AQS's website. So, so Candace, I think that the, the winning strategy is the new home movers, yes. right? Yes. Like, so yes. whether it's AQS or you use Zillow or whatever the hell you use to do it, is, is, isn't necessarily relevant, it's, it's that strategy, right? We wanna look at the strategy, not the tactic. Yeah, and, and we wanna replace uh, the winning strategy with A. You need to constantly be asking yourself, what else, what else, what else? I mean, that, that's all I'm really doing over here is asking everybody, what else, what else? Because it's, it's in you, it's in you. Um, all right, let's go, to, let's go to development. Let's go to these expansion strategies. 